Hi, welcome to Hartley Classics. And today I want to show you around our workshop. Um, our workshop is obviously the place where we carry out work on the classic cars that we buy and sell and also our own collection. Um, I built the workshop 20 years ago and we just keep updating it and, and adding bits of tools to it and stuff. I just want to show you around, just show you some of the stuff we've got. Um, just a, a basic idea of, of what we do. Um, we have a fully trained mechanic. He works for us three or four days a week. Um, he does various mechanical, electrical, bodywork, trim. So just an idea to show you what we do, what we've got. So we'll start on the workshop. As you can see, it's quite spacious in here. Um, the lighting, the lighting's very important to me. Um, we had all fluorescent tubes in here. We stripped them out and we fitted these LED lights, which are fantastic to show every single fault of a car. So if you're doing any body work or anything like that, you're guaranteed to see the faults in it. So we'll have a walk around. So basically, we start around here. In the workshop, obviously, we've got a toilet. We have a little kitchen uh, as we move around here. We have another important thing, which is that, which is a central heating boiler. And people laugh and they'll say to me, I can't believe you've got central heating in your garage. But if you've got somebody working for you and they're in an environment, it's freezing cold, you won't get any production out of them. They won't be happy. They won't want to come to work. So you might as well make the place where they work a nice environment to work. And I think this is a nice environment to work. So like you say, we're coming around the workshop. Yeah, we've got various tools. We've got a sander there, in it, a dustless sander. We have a little lathe if we need any little bits of machining work. Moving round, obviously we have hand tools and pill boxes. Uh, moving around this side, pillar drills, welders, plasma cutters, all sorts of stuff you'll find in a, in a workshop because when we buy the cars, it doesn't matter whether it's a project car or a car of my own, the first thing we do is we put it on a ramp and like you can see with this Morris Miner, what we've got on the ramp at the minute, take the wheels off and we inspect the brakes. It's a, it's a must-do thing for us from a safety point of view. We always, always, always check the brakes. And if the brakes are more than 50% worn, we'll strip them off, chuck them away, or get them relined or whatever, and put them back on. And I don't care if we make a loss or we make a profit. I'm not bothered about that. The main thing for us is safety. We always, always do the brakes. So there you go. We have a little two-post ramp here. Um, I prefer a four post ramp but we haven't really got the space for a four post ramp so this little two post ramp does everything we want with the smaller cars if it's something bigger we have a pit so that's a commercial pit and you can actually get a wagon over that pit we've had 18 ton wagons backed over here so you can work on them if you're putting clutches in or you're doing prop shafts or welding underneath the car. It's it's absolutely ideal for that. Above us, we've got a little mezzanine area. Now I'm gonna take you upstairs and show you what we've got up there. So we'll head upstairs. So we put this in oh, a few months ago, a bit of an extension really. But basically what it is, it's a little, it's a little place where we can do a bit of trimming. So we can trim the cars out if we get a car. We don't really go for full ray trims, although we could do a full ray trim. Uh, a couple of saw machines there, a bench. But it's handy for us to try and do anything in-house because we're not just car dealers. We're passionate about classic cars. We're collectors, we're enthusiasts. And if we buy a car and it's got a rip seat, we can repair it or, or a rip panel or whatever. Or if it's a restoration project that we're doing, we can fit a brand new set of covers, set of seats. So it's ideal. And we try and do that with everything. Um, not just with seats, engines, but with paintwork. We'll do a bit of paintwork ourselves. Try and do it in-house and uh, we, we know how it's been done. So if you just take a look, that's looking from up here, down there. 
gives you an idea of the, the scale of the place. Like I say, it's not a massive workshop, but we don't turn a lot of cars out. We usually keep about 20 cars in stock. And every car, like I say, when we get it in, first thing goes on that ramp and it's inspected. And it's inspected for the safety side of things. Right, so we'll go into the next building, which is uh, where our paint shop is. Right, so we're in the paint shop here now. I'm not painting my Bentley, it's just in here. Out the elements we put in the the day to dry out. So this little spray booth is where we do a lot of the touch-up work that we have to do. Although we do do full race sprays, it's not something I like to do. Um, I can do them, we can do them, but again, it's, it's very time consuming. In today's modern paints, it's, it's a specialist thing. So we tend to ship a lot of that out. But looking around the spray booth, like I say, again, it's heated, it has radiators in, it's got an extraction chest at the back there. So it's a nice environment to work, a nice environment to paint things in. Right, so we've got the workshop, paint shop, and we'll come through the next door and we're in my showroom. So it's nice that it's all joined together. Uh, it's a nice environment to work, really nice and pleasant. You walk in the showroom and your face just lights up. It's just like going in a toy shop for me every day. It's like I've got my own toy shop. Right, so there you have it. There's a quick walk around the workshop, paint shop, and my little garage. Um, I hope it's shown you what we do. Like I say, we, we try and take everything really seriously, especially I keep going on and on and on and on about brakes, but they are so important. And safety is just so important in these old classic cars because a lot of them will stand for years and years and years and they might have no miles on, zero mileage, but it still doesn't mean to say that the parts don't deteriorate. So there you have it, Hardy Classics. Bye-bye now.